Subtopic 9.3 Fertilization and Fetal Development In this subtopic, we will learn about the stages that lead to fertilization and stages in development of embryo. There are a few stages that lead to fertilization. Fertilization is the fusion between sperm and ovum's nucleus to form diploid zygote. So let's look at this diagram. This diagram showing sperm trying to penetrate the corona radiata, zona pellucida, and then enter the cytoplasm of secondary oocyte. So inside the sperm head is the sperm nucleus and acrosome. Inside acrosome is the hydrolytic enzyme. This is the granulosa cells forming corona radiata. And then this is the zona pellucida or the jelly coat protecting the secondary oocyte. And then between the zona pellucida and the plasma membrane of the secondary oocyte is the extracellular space or parabetalin space. Inside the cytoplasm of the secondary oocytes are many cortical granules containing enzymes. So stages that lead to fertilization divides into four stages. The first stage is capacitation. Second stage is acrosomal reaction. Third stage is fusion of sperm head membrane and oocyte membrane. The fourth stage is cortical reaction. So in capacitation, it started when sperms discharge into the uterus. So inside the uterus, the sperm will become mature and will increase its motility or will become more active where it will swim actively from uterus to the fallopian tube. So in capacitation, maturation of sperm in uterus and ovida or fallopian tube where sperm motility increases. The sperm ready to approach and contact secondary oocyte at the ovida. The second stage is acrosomal reaction. So in this stage, the sperm already approach the secondary oocyte where it will swim pass through the corona radiata through the granulosa cells and then the sperm will release its hydrolytic enzyme in the acrosome to digest the zona pellucida. So in acrosomal reaction, release of hydrolytic enzymes from acrosome, the hydrolytic enzymes digest through the zona pellucida of secondary oocyte. So this will lead to the third stage which is fusion of sperm head membrane and oocyte. Once the sperm pass through the zona pellucida, the sperm's membrane will fuse with the secondary oocyte membrane. This fusion will trigger cortical reaction and also trigger the secondary oocyte to continue, meiosis 2. At the end of this stage, the sperm's head will enter the secondary oocyte's cytoplasm. So, third stage, plasma membrane of sperm fuses with plasma membrane of secondary oocyte, trigger cortical reaction and completion of meiosis 2 by secondary oocyte. The sperm's head enter the secondary oocyte's cytoplasm. The fourth stage is cortical reaction where the cortical granules will release enzymes into the perivitelline space by exocytosis and the enzymes will harden the zona pellucida. This is very important to prevent polyspermy or entry of more than one sperm into the secondary oocyte. Meanwhile, inside the cytoplasm of oocyte, meiosis 2 is complete forming ovum and second polar body. At the end of this stage, the sperm's nucleus will fuse with the ovum's nucleus to form diploid zygote. So, in cortical reaction, cortical granules release enzymes into pervitaline space. The space between plasma membrane and zona pellucida, enzyme released will harden the zona pellucida layer to prevent polyspermy or entrance of more than one sperm. The secondary oocyte completes meiosis 2 to form ovum and second polar body. The sperm's nucleus fuses with ovum's nucleus to form zygote which is diploid. So pregnancy period is 9 months in human. The 9 months divides into 3 trimester. Each trimester is 3 months. The first trimester month 1 until 3. The second trimester month 4 to 6. And the third trimester month 7 to 9. So in this subtopic, we will learn more about how the embryo is developed from zygote after conception or fertilization. Embryogenesis is the development of embryo from zygote which occur between week 1 until week 8 after fertilization or conception. So in this diagram, we can see the stages of embryogenesis start from zygote to week 8 embryo. So there are three stages that occur. The stage 1 is cleavage. 
Stage 2 is gastrulation and stage 3 is organogenesis. At stage 1, cleavage occur where zygote will undergo mitosis to form 2 cells and then 4 cells and then 8 cells to 16 cells and then to 32 cells until a morula is formed. Morula is a solid ball packed with cells. This cleavage process occur between day 1 to day 3. Morula then will develop into blastocyte. Blastocyst is a hollow ball with spear structure of tropoblast cells, inner cell mass, a cluster of cells, and a cavity filled with fluid known as blastosoil. Blastocyst completely develop at the 7, where it will reach at the uterus and implanted into the endometrium wall. So stage 1 cleavage, zygote developed to morula and into blastocyst. Day 1 to 3, zygote cleavages into morula, a solid ball of cells. Day 4 to 6, morula develops to blastocyst or hollow balls. Day 7, implantation of blastocyst in endometrium will be occurred. At stage 2 is gastrulation. Gastrulation means formation of three germ layers of embryo. So the blastocyst develops to gastrula or three-layered embryo. At this stage, the inner cell mass develops into three germ layers and extra embryonic membrane. The inner cell mass divides and then differentiates into three germ layers which are ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm and also develop into extra embryonic membrane which consists allantois, yolk sac, chorion and amnion. The three germ layers will become the embryo and the extra embryonic membrane will support the development of embryo. So in stage 3 organogenesis, organ will be developed from each germ layers. So in stage 3, the gastrula develop into neurula and then into fetus. Neurula is a stage where the nerve system will be developed. So, fetus is when the embryo completely form main organs. So, each germ layer develops into specific organ and at week 5 to 6, we can listen the first heartbeat of the embryo. At week 9, fetus completely form where the main organs already developed. Zygote will develop into blastocyst inside the fallopian tube or uterine tube or ovida. So, once the fertilization occur, the zygote will undergo cleavage until a solid ball of cells known as morula is formed. So morula is formed at the three days after fertilization or conception. So all of this process occur along the fallopian tube. Morula then develop into blastocyst. Blastocyst has a spear of trophoblast cells and a cluster of cells known as inner cell mass. At the seven days, the blastocyst is supposed to reach at the uterus and then implanted in the endometrium wall. Organogenesis is the formation of organ from each germ layers, from zygote to blastocyst and then gastrulation produce gastrula. Gastrula is three-layered embryo. The three-layered embryo are ectoderm, external layer, mesoderm, middle layer, and endoderm, interior layer. The ectoderm later on will develop into skin cells of epidermis, neuron of brain, and pigment of cell. The mesoderm layer later on develop into cardiac muscle, skeletal muscle, the tubule cell of the kidney, red blood cells, and smooth muscles in gut. The endoderm layer later on develop into lung cells or alveolar cell, the thyroid cell and the pancreatic cell. Some of the germ layer remain as a germ cells which found inside the reproductive organ in testis or inside the ovary where later on the germ cells inside the reproductive organ will develop into sperm or egg. Extra embryonic membrane also develop during embryogenesis where this membrane support the embryo and fetus development. So there are four embryonic membrane, the amnion, chorion, the yolk sac, and also the allantois. Later on, the amnion will develop into amnion sac filled with amniotic fluid. The chorion will become a part of the placenta. The allantois will become the umbilical cord. Yolk sac is the site of red blood production for the fetus. And at the end of first trimester, the yolk sac will degenerate. That's why we cannot see yolk sac here. As a conclusion, in this subtopic, you're supposed to learn about the stages that lead to fertilization, the capacitation, the acrosomal reaction, fusion of sperm's membrane with oocytes membrane, and the cortical reaction. 
And also, in this subtopic, you should already learn about the development of embryo from zygote until fetus, which is at week 8, where it involves cleavage stage, gastrulation stage, and organogenesis stage.